father in 1923, since 1923, with uh, five uh, brothers. Uh, and they, uh, as a uh, uh, history of every uh, manufacturer, uh, artisan manufacturing, well, know, my grandfather was a master in another glass factory. And during the day, he developed uh, his own uh, work uh, at home. Imagine that today he left uh, the, the, this glass factory and employed and started this uh, kind of uh, glass factory. Uh, developing uh, creamy glass for the offset, stemware, power. But the first drawing that we found in the, in the glass factory was this uh, light, table light. Not in this size, but smaller than this, but this is the first drawing that we found in here. The code item is 1923, because uh, yeah, the, the, the drawing is signed with the date of uh, the development of it. As you see, for that uh, period, it is very, very unusual for brand glass, this kind of uh, products. During that period, uh, the glasses was very narrow. <coughs> or uh, romantic. Uh, this is very uh, modern for that period. The family was to Nazo, that is my family, and Moretti, that is uh, another family, cousin of my family. Uh, during the 50s, the brand name was so strong in the market, uh, and uh, we maintained this uh, brand name, even if uh, the Moretti family left uh, during the 50s. Just in that period, we won an important award, a design award, uh, that is uh, the Compasso d'Oro from the Triennale of Milan. The revolution that my grandfather made uh, is to combine in a different way two kinds of glasses that I will show you. was a revolutionary in Murano glass factory. My grandfather combined the two different kinds of glass, the milk glass, matte color, and the color glass, transparent color, in this case red, yellow, and so on. In this way, uh, outside, milky glass, or matte color, matte color. Inside, uh, transparent color, uh, colored, just like the red. We obtain a sort of uh, opaline color, but uh, the construction that we was uh, in the opposite side. Usually we work with color side and milky inside. The opaline was made in this way in Murano glass. The revolution was to change the construction and to get the shape. It was a shape very, very modern for that period. And this is uh, uh, this product for this uh, reason, boom, that year 1955, uh, this important war during the uh, important period for Italian uh, production. That year we, were, we, we have uh, Fiat with Cinquecento. You remember, you know, the Cinquecento is the same period of this. It, it was a very, very uh, important period for figurative arts for uh, the production for the Italy for the Italian production, Italian production. Then we have uh, from the 50 to 70 we develop a lot of uh, transparent color, transparent glasses as you see in some pieces here with the traditional technique of Venetian glass, stripes, texture, golds. Uh, as you can see, some examples of different stripes that we use Brigadine, uh, Tomse, Balotom, Optique, uh, and so on. After this period, we introduce uh, again colored glasses. Uh, the colored glasses uh, for our factory, my factory, uh, was not so useful. We have a, a, a big period when we produce only transparent. 
we have uh, some period, very good market period. But during the World War, World War, yes, the, first, the Second World War, that we founded some particular color because uh, the raw material uh, was uh, uh, contingentate. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no limited. Uh, limited. Limited. Was limited, and we uh, we saw. We can see, sorry, we can see uh, some particular uh, classes that I will show you after uh, in black and red because arrive in the, in the highlight only some raw material that uh, allow you, allow us to produce only two kinds of color, black and red. Then we develop a lot of transport, as I told you, and uh, during the 70s, 80s, we start again to develop much, a lot of color. You can see now how many colors we produce. This is the power room of the Murano Glass factory. Even the Lanello uh, Depot, the weak uh, change, the weak, uh, weak change of the glass factory. It's a power room because uh, uh, we can uh, uh, satisfy a lot of uh, requests, a lot of uh, projects, a lot of uh, uh, works. But even is uh, the, the weak change for the economy of the business. Or the economy of the business. I will show you 22 kinds of green, 8 kinds of blue, different kind of uh, orange. If you go uh, in another glass uh, factory in the Eastern Europe uh, or uh, Far East, you, in the Far East, uh, you can find only one green, only one blue, only one red. Murano is, the, the power of Murano is still a lot of Tom, the same Tom. This is the secret and the power of Murano. But even if it's a, the, the wood chain of, of the economy of the island, the economy is very fragile. It's very fragile. And the brothers as we as we done. The same. And the glass. Yes, and the glass as we done. <laughs> okay. You can see here uh, some project that we develop uh, internal or with uh, uh, glass design. Young, uh, not young, uh, we are open mind uh, with uh, every. Uh, we have to come to, 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 to become to go all over the world uh, with the people that came from all the world to, to change our uh, way of being. And so we develop a lot of things uh, in modern style, in classical style, uh, to combine with uh, very, very uh, strong color, uh, with the uh, application of uh, technique just like uh, stripes, gold, uh, and so on. Uh, if you would uh, call your uh, company, would you call it a industrial company or a manufacturing company? Manufacturing company. I think that in Murano you don't find an uh, industrial company. The industrial is only for uh, the for yeah. The number of the people that are employed. But uh, all the glass factories in Murano are manufacturing. In fact, we we we, we told we to our customers we are uh, manufactured since 1983. This is only that we say. And you go to Compasso as a company, not Sorry? for a cosa, for as a company. No, no. the place of Compasso Doro or for the other? No, products, 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 products. My grandfather as a designer and the company with the products. Thank you. Yes, we use mold, uh, iron mold, or wooden mold. Depends uh, from the quantities uh, that we have to produce. Does it always make a different finish? Uh, the wood is uh, more. The glass that you blow in the mold, the wooden mold is more bright. A few more change, a few more change, uh, it's more bright. Right. And so we have to trade in the iron, uh, yeah. so in particular uh, material, to obtain the same effect uh, that the wood. Yeah. 
usually we start the develop uh, some projects uh, with Budapest. And so these are our assets to go around the Budapest around uh, 200, 300 pieces uh, without losing the sequence of the products. When the products are uh, in the standard fashion, we pass from uh, wooden wood to iron wood to very, very soon. We have a lot of uh, iron wood resources. Uh, Less likely as uh, more than 80 years old, and uh, we have a lot of uh, iron wood that still are still in production since uh, 50s.